bam! See, science isn't just for the laboratory. You can make cool stuff like this at home, and that's what we're doing today on DIY Science. It's a popper. Done, yeah! Ah! Do-it-yourself toys you can make at home with a little help from science. Bam! I'm Steve Spangler, and I love blowing stuff up with the power of science. I'm gonna show you how you can do it yourself. Bam! You can harness the power of science in your own home with DIY Sci. Yeah! Hi, I'm Steve Spangler. Welcome to DIY Sci. Now, usually, week after week, I'm here blowing stuff up. It explodes, it's gone, you got nothing. This week, it's gonna be different. I'm gonna show you how to create things you can keep. In fact, these are all going to be toys, the coolest toys inspired by a great scientific concept. And we start off with a classic science toy created by one of the fathers of science, Rene Descartes. Most historians say that Rene Descartes in the 1600s created a prototype for a diving bell, something like this one. It went up and down in water when air was pumped through a tube. Let me show you how you can make your own Cartesian diver using some simple things you can find at the store. First thing is you're going to need a recycled one liter bottle. So I've taken the label off, filled it with water. We'll use this here in just a second. Our little toy or diver is going to be made from a glass eyedropper that you can find, for example, uh, at a pharmacy. So when I put the diver in the water here like this, see how it floats? Well, it floats because you've got all this air inside. So notice what I can do here. I can squeeze some of the air out. See the bubbles coming out? and draw some of the water in so that it now floats upright. But notice this, I can push it down and it still pops back up. Now we're gonna transfer this to the bottle over here and now we seal the entire thing up. So if you look at this, it's floating now because remember there's not enough water in there to make it sink. However, if you squeeze the bottle, the pressure from your hands is transferred to the water and the air inside that little eyedropper compresses because molecules of air can compress and notice how the water level goes up to eventually it gets heavy enough, ah, it sinks. If I let go, it floats. That's the Cartesian diver. Now it's our job to make it fun and to turn it into a toy. Get a plastic eyedropper and attach a hex nut to it to give it some weight. Then cut off the extra plastic. We can use this Cartesian diver to play a little game. 